uh, currently starting the tour. So let us begin. No video photography. Thank you. I'm talking to a camera and it responds back with beeps and things. Jeez, damn it, we all know. These are the timely artifacts. An ancient Mexican, Chicano, Latino, Chicano history. All very Casa Grandes. They're all very Very. This is what they have here. people in Western Hampshire who have a continuous history from 9000 BCE to the present. Wow. Classic Veritas Gulf Coast culture. And this will be older again, sulking. He doesn't like me today. Pre Columbian era. Era, period, whatever. <coughs> Is this a mask or? No, it's a, just a regular clown. Dio Terracon. Did you know? What? Gosh, you're like, you're like yelling at me. Me? I'm paranoid? How am I paranoid? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, that Okay, apparently I'm paranoid. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm being stopped. Many Mexicos, we still love from Mexico, we still love from Tera. That way. Okay. <laughs> Is that horse armor? Jesus, oh, donkey armor. Which one? Oh, shit, they got a crossbow. Dude, look at this. This is a beautiful weapon. The crossbow. Deadly if you can use it correctly. Spaniard armor. Malinche mask. Cortez Malinche Spanish clown. They have some pottery. Like, yeah, they actually have those. That's what I must say. Exquisite painting. Exquisite craftsmanship. 
Crazy. As our teacher, Mr. Orsay. So, ah, uh, these are weapons. Beautiful weapons. Very inspired, all consisted of layers of leather. I'm guessing sanded down wood. Or carrying a short sword. And a curved spear, maybe. It was damaged. A spear right there. And, what was that? Leather wood shield along with a type of uniform. That is a very impressive uniform. <clears throat> For you Christians, there's your sign. Apparently they were also very religious people. And very skilled and awesome craftsmanship. Which one is over here? A full suit. Along with a man's own personal sword. And <coughs> Teresita. Yeah, this is the one I was telling you about, that sign, uh, the guy that fought, that signed the treaty uh, of uh, Guadalupe. That's him? That's his yeah. uniform? Yeah, that's his uniform, and that's him, Santana. Yeah. Antonio Santa? Lopez Santana. He was a general. Is that the name place that place Santa Ana? Yeah, probably, yeah. Was, that's the guy. That's the guy. an impressive uniform. Yeah. Are those like his actual weapons too? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how they got him over here. Yeah, I took a picture as well yesterday. Yeah, I'm just I never see, I'm just thought I would see thing. this. He's uh, considered like a traitor in Mexican history. What about American history? <laughs> well, he, half of his territory was <laughs> ceded to, my, to the United States. Yeah, I'm videotaping this for all my friends and my dad because he can't come. This is all very interesting actually. Is that it seems to be a sombrero? No, I think it's something else. Along with different types of weapons, spurs, money. Valuable. <laughs> See? <coughs> right here is a gun. Which I'm sure they used, actually. And along with this right here is a rifle. Another uniform. This is Charo. Which I am going to suppose. Ah, it's a traditional horseman uniform. Or vaquero. If I pronounce that right. And they have a frozen scene from the. This is not this is. But Edward now. El Santo Lucho Libre in Mexican cinema. Now, Fred Romanos Martinez painted this one from the years 1871 to 1946, is when he lived. They must have been very musical as well. And once again, skilled in craftsmanship. Ooh, the 
They're trying to figure out how to turn on the TV. There's the hallway again. This is an entire tour. Oh, look at this. Truly do we live on Earth, not forever on Earth, only a little while here. Altogether it be jade, it will be broken. Although it be gold, it is crushed. Although it be grizzled feather, it is torn asunder. Not forever on Earth, only a little while we're here. And this was by Nezashiva La Koyoto. 1402 to 1472. He was a poet and wrote a text cooker. This is it for this part of the video till we get another section of the tour.